Hey everyone, we're back to talking with Dana from Himlane. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks, Mike, for having me. Oh, uh, absolutely. This third topic is an important one for me because I've built a one rental at a time brand just by being who I am and telling how I see it. One of the things that we have to talk about is, you know, you have a design, you have a customer in mind that works for Himlane, and I know there's customers that will not fit. So let's have the honest discussion about who is not a right fit. For him, Lane, at least today, right? You are a software company, so you will be growing and evolving, but you can't serve everyone today. So let's just have an honest discussion about who's not right for him, Lane, today. Yeah, agreed. And we we do bring this up to customers. We try to do it as quickly as possible when they're trying our 30-day free trial, uh, just because we want you to be successful with your um, real estate investments. Um, so there's three main categories where Hemlane is just really not going to work with you. Um, the first is qualifying you as the user. Um, we will have real estate investors who come to us and say, great, we want to use Hemlane. And we would like to use it um, for all of our properties and it's cheaper, right, than a full service property manager. So we're gonna hand over the keys and you guys do everything. If you do not want to be involved, in other words, making decisions, working with a leasing agent um, on approvals, um, you know, making sure that um, if a tenant wants a lease renewal, filling that out online, Hemlane is gonna be a terrible solution for you. And we will tell you every day, great, the 10% that a property manager charges if you have a single rental, it obviously goes down if you have more than that. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to be a great solution for you. They are really going to give you that hands off. And that is not something Hemlane will ever do. Um, we believe that by giving you transparency and control, you're going to be really satisfied and much more satisfied and we can scale it that way. Mm -hmm. um, but if not a local property manager, they don't need to scale nationwide. They can really take that care of your property. So if you want to be 100% hands off, hand over the keys, um, definitely use a full service property manager instead. Yeah. And again, this is, this is, you know, we had this conversation, right? And, and this, this, I'm to the point in life where I have built a portfolio of size. I can get discounts with one manager. I have a dedicated resource inside the property manager. And I spend about 30 minutes a week kind of answering exceptions, which is what we agreed. I am yep. that hands off you know, guy on the beach and I am not going back. I do not want to interact with my tenants. I do not want to interact with service professionals. I want to make a couple of exception calls a week and be done. Uh, but it takes a yeah. while to get there, right? It took 15 years for us to get to a portfolio of that size. So uh, again, uh, I'm bringing this to the channel because I believe in it. I think based on all the questions I get from my audience, I think it will fill a need for many of them. But it's not a right fit for me, and I just want this recorded so nobody calls me calls me out on it. It's it's not a fit for where I'm at, and I'm okay with that. But I still think it has value for lots of people. Yep, and we have had um, users who have grown to 100 plus units and said, "I want to be more hands off," and then they hire someone mm -hmm. who uses Hamline <laughs> and does the day to day for them on the platform. That's totally fine. Um, but we just want you to know that that person who's on the platform doing the day-to-day -day needs to be you yeah. um, or someone that you know who's who's held accountable. Like Helene is not a licensed brokerage to do that for you. Yeah, you're not, you're not, I don't know, what do you want to call it? You're not, you're not, you're not a replacement for a physical body for a property manager, right? You are an interface, you are automation, you are task management, but there's still got to be somebody on the other side doing the work. Exactly. That's correct. Yeah. And I think that's what makes it amazing. The, the ability to bring software to bear here, automation. And again, you've expanded just in the five years you've been out. I, I mean, we just did a demo number or session two, walking through the product. It's kind of amazing stuff. And the ability where my aha moment there was when I'm thinking about my accountant, because yes, it is December. I'm already thinking about my 2020 wrap up of, you know, however many properties I have. And I'm like, God, this would make it a lot easier. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing what you have there. Well, thank you. Yeah. So let's, so again, we've been pretty clear. Any other kind of corner cases uh, that Hemlane's not a fit for? I'm, I'm thinking people that, you know, they, the other thing I'm thinking about is I'm, I'm just curious. We didn't talk about this ahead of time. So it'll be interesting. Uh, we're talking about residential real estate here, rents and all of that. Have you had anybody do office or retail or industrial or self-storage or any of those other areas? 
Yeah, we've had quite a few users um, go into both retail to do retail as well as um, other commercial like office spaces. Sure. Um, and really it's people who've used us for residential and then say, great, we're going to use you for commercial as well. Um, it can be used 100% for commercial, the rent collection, um, yep. the lease tracking, all of that. We're in, where we don't do commercial is leasing. So the leasing, you're going to have to use a different platform. Like our application is like, you know, have you ever been evicted? Two past resident histories, two yeah. past employers. Like it's a little bit different from that perspective. So people definitely use us for commercial, um, but actually the office we're in uses us for commercial, um, just uses our platform as well. But it's not to say um, that we were built for that. We were really built for residential. Um, and we don't do vacation rentals. And um, there's a lot of people who have vacation rentals. That's where actually we say, with commercial, we say, oh, if you have some commercial properties, you can get by with it. You can put everything on the Hem Lane. But if it's like a short term Airbnb and VRBO, have you covered for that? So we say, no, Hem Lane's not going to be able to do that because we're Good not going to advertise it out. And that's the most important thing. And yeah. um, so we don't do the, the short term vacation rentals. I love that. So let's switch gears to who it's right for. Because again, I think it's right for a lot more people than it's wrong. Yeah. I don't want to make this a negative. I, I, I really see see this as, you know, somebody, for me, the biggest thing when we talked the first time was th that person who's trying to diversify. Again, I said it, I think on video one, when I hear people have more than one property manager, right? They have two, three, four. I'm like, oh my God, my, I, in my head, all I'm thinking is somebody is ripping you off and you don't know. Um, yeah. So, I mean, that's, that, that is, when I look at Hemlane, that's, I'm like, this is, this is solving that problem, or at least it's per, the ability to provide a shining light. Uh, it's, it's, it's awesome. Yeah. So investors who feel like, Hey, I've got a full service manager, but I'm still, a lot of them come to Hemlane and say, it's about the same amount as, of work for me are those who have a property manager, say in Boise, Idaho, mm -hmm. another one in Denver, Colorado, and another one in Houston, Texas. Yeah. And they say, I'm working with three managers. I'm trying to consolidate everything together. It's like all different reports. One person's using Appfolio, one person's using Rent Tech Direct, one person's using Property Aware. Um, this one I'm following up with, I don't understand why the repair bill was so high. Like I kind of feel like they are buddy-buddy with the handyman, but I can't tell. Yeah. Um, all these questions that start coming up where suddenly, there's a, a trust concern and it's usually smaller portfolios under 50 units, right? Yep. Um, where suddenly you do have some trust. Um, that's where Hemlane's great because you can take those, you can put it on Hemlane and um, then you'll have, you'll have local support. So it's not like we're just software. We'll connect you with a local licensed agent mm -hmm. um, for either leasing or leasing and, and light property management tasks they will go through and they'll be the local person. So if you need someone for an inspection, they're there. If you need someone to find and place the tenant, they're there. So they're going to be the one who's physically there for you. Um, but then you'll be controlling and viewing everything on the platform. So you'll see who we've sent out for the repair. When you get the invoice and we'll pay it through your account based on your thresholds and approvals, um, you'll be able to see, okay, this is this service professional's bill, not Hemlane's. Um, and everything is very transparent to you. And so it's very important to us that um, you have that level of trust with us. Yeah. And then the big thing for me, again, thinking back when we were smaller was the repair. I mean, that would be the thing for us. I, I keep thinking, would this be something we would have used when we had eight or 10 units, one market where Olivia, because again, I couldn't have done it right all over the world, no time, blah, blah, blah. But I, I keep thinking, could Olivia have done this if you helped us understand and connect the repair people? That was a, that was such a nice ad or a nice addition to the app when you showed that. Um, why don't you talk about the you know the checks and balances you do for repair people and how you grow that network and the reviews you get and all of that because that's a big part of the platform for me. Gosh, yeah, and I could talk about that all day. Um, so I'll try I'll try to keep it short. Um, there's a couple of things. So um, the first is who are the service professionals we use. There are a couple of tiers of how we find them. Um, and the first is through um, our local agents. So if you think about it, the people who are physically there in real estate are working with the same service professionals. It's usually people who don't have to advertise themselves online, yeah. right? Um, and so we're working with them. We are making sure they are having the, the correct licensing and um, um, licensing and insurance for the property. And, and part of the reason for that is if, if anything were to go wrong, knock on wood, like we haven't had any terrible situations and lawsuits on our end. Um, but if anything were to go wrong, we do want to make sure, hey, if the service professional did something, 
they have the insurance to, um, to be covered for it. Um, so that's the first um, of where we get the service professionals. A lot of people ask. You can also bring your own in and we'll, we'll just coordinate with yours. Um, we won't check licensing or anything like that. We'll just mm -hmm. trust you. Um, but then the, um, se the second one after the agents is partnerships. So we have partnerships with um, companies that we know and trust um, that we've worked with. And so um, some examples is um, ACE um, Handyman Services, right? They have, most handymen don't have insurance, but they make sure they're all insured. Um, and they're, they're going through that ACE brand, which actually, in my opinion, has a very good local feel. Yeah. And um, because we have a partnership with them, if anything goes wrong, we can go directly to their CEO and say, hey, this happened um, with one of the ACE franchises. They will make sure everything's right. I mean, they do recalls until things are right. Wow. I um, mean, so it's that level of quality um, that we look for. And then after every single re um, repair request, we ask for reviews and it's important to get both the tenant's perspective as well as the owner's perspective. Oh, very so good. the tenant, the tenant might say, you know, they showed up 20 minutes late and they've consistently done that, right? We're going to mm -hmm. take that into account. Um, and then the owner as well might say, you know, they were really great and they have a great price or, Hey, yeah, the tenant loved them. They showed up right on time and they were great with the tenant and all of this, but like, they charge a little bit more than um, what I what I was expecting. So we're taking that into account. Um, not only do they rate the service professional, they also rate us. So when I had mentioned um, in an earlier episode that we have 4.8 star reviews, um, that's based off all the reviews we get from tenants and owners for every single repair request. So we that's are awesome. constantly asking, not only how did the service professional do, but how was our coordination? Because we want to make sure that everything was done um, correctly. And then if there is any communication mishap or something wasn't done fast enough, how do we make sure that never happens again? Um, and, and so that's a little bit about um, the service professionals and who we work with. Um, on a pricing side, um, we don't ask the service professionals for like a discounted rates. Um, and part of the reason for that is it's, it's more of quality and, and trust. Some of them will give us that, but it's not like home warranty where we say, this is our rate and you have to go buy it. Because then we found we're not working with the best and it's much more important to have people who are professional. Um, and then our team is very good about assessing, hey, is this something a handyman could do to save you some money? Mm -hmm. Or really, we do really need a licensed plumber out for this. And there's a very fine line. And so they they, they know the protocol for what that is um, to make sure that um, you're taken care of. Um, and then on the service professional side, sorry, one last thing. Um, okay. Because you love finances, Mike, I have to tell you this. Um, on the service professional side, we um, never give them your credit card information or your bank account. So we route to yours, but we use what Instacart and um, all of these like Postmates and DoorDash services use where it's single use credit cards. So we give nice. that credit card or that PayPal directly to the service professional once it's got a limit of what we've approved. So it closes after that and nice. it routes to your account. It has everything in there. And what's great about that is your account information would never be compromised. So we would never send your credit card and some service professional, Joe Smo, who works for, you know, um, Ace Handyman Services was maybe a bad guy and runs off with your credit card. That could never happen because all of that information is encrypted in our system, but it's all logged to the correct person and through your bank account and all of that. That is awesome. And again, folks, if you want to check it out, go to himlane.com. There's a 30-day trial and you're given a 15% discount for the first year with the coupon code Zuber, Z-U-B-E-R, correct? That's correct. Excellent. Well, my puppy's making a bunch of noise, so I got to go feed him. Yeah. You have a wonderful day, Dana, and we'll talk to you in a couple of weeks. Great. Thanks so much, Mike. Talk to you then. Yep. Bye. Bye.